her parents recognized at a very early stage of her career that one of the necessities for her in order to freely engage in business negotiations was marriage. They found this local nobleman named Paolo Zappi. They had a very unusual marriage contract that stipulated that Fontana was essentially to remain the breadwinner and that she would be allowed to continue to work and that Paolo Zappi would come and live with Prospero and Lavinia in Bologna for a 16th century woman to have kept on working and maintained her career and found a man who would support her through that is, is extraordinary. And they had 11 children, 11 babies. Her mother came from a large publishing house in Bologna, so she was very well connected as well. And her father was an artist, an esteemed artist in his day. They had ensured that she learned Latin. She was well educated. She knew about classical antiquity. Then after training her as a painter, the last piece of the puzzle was that ability to, to go out in public and, and negotiate freely. And that was, you know, to become a woman of virtue through marriage. 